Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection 1990 movie figures. That's right, it's the Fab Four in brand new action figure style, this time inspired by their appearance in the 1990 live action film. In the vintage toy line, we had the Movie Star Turtles, and to this day, those remain to be some of the most popular Ninja Turtles action figures in the minds of Turtles collectors. So, how do these new versions of those characters hold up? Well, we're going to go ahead and check them out. As you can see, they come in that awesome Classic Collection blister card packaging, which is a great throwback to the vintage action figures with that cool brick wall in the background. You'll also notice that it's got a little burst sticker on the bubble letting you know that these are inspired by the 1990 movie. And we even get some images sort of wrapped around the bottom and onto the back of the blister cards that come straight out of that live action movie. So let's go ahead and take a look at the four turtles outside of their packaging. So, since these guys are inspired by the 1990 movie, that means that these guys are supposed to look like the costumes that were created by Jim Henson. To this day, those are still some of my favorite looks for the Ninja Turtles, and when I think about Ninja Turtle movies, that's the way I think about my Ninja Turtles looking. And these action figures here are pretty neat looking. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at the sculpt on these guys. First of all, I gotta say that I'm a little impressed at the fact that they didn't reuse any parts from the already released Classic Collection Turtles that were based on their cartoon appearances. I almost would have expected the torso or maybe even the arms or legs to be taken straight off of those figures, but from what I can tell, none of the parts on these figures come from those figures. There's a lot more detail worked into these new guys. There's a lot of muscle creases and even the design of the torso there. It's all different from what we saw on the cartoon versions of the Turtles. So that's great. These guys are brand new sculpts all the way through. Now with that being said, the four Turtles here do share the exact same bodies, just with a few differences to kind of differentiate their looks, but I'm okay with that. The four Turtles did have similar builds in that film, so it makes sense for them to be sharing parts all the way across the board. The bodies themselves look really great. For one thing, I gotta say that I like that they all use the same shade of green. It made sense for the uh, cartoon versions to kind of have that differing shade because they were kind of trying to look sort of how the vintage figures did too. But in the movie, all the turtles had the same green color skin, so I think it works really great here. It's a nice flat color green too, so it doesn't have a really shiny plasticky look, which I really like. For the most part, the paint job is nice and clean on these guys, but I will say that one thing I feel is lacking is detail in the paint job. Their bodies are just a straight green. If you remember, the designs of the turtles in the movies kind of had a bit of a spotted look to them, much more of like an amphibian look, and even those vintage movie star turtles action figures are known for having the spots on them. I think taking off the spots and some of those details of their skin really hurts the overall look of these guys. They're almost perfect as far as that goes, but with a little bit of added detail worked into that paint job, these guys could have looked like they jumped right off of the screen because otherwise I feel like the sculpt work is pretty good on these guys. Most of the faces are very nicely done. You can see that all of their faces are slightly different from one another. They all have different expressions with Raphael showing some teeth with a little grin there and Michelangelo's got a nice big smirk on his face. And even the shape of their masks are all different. One of the things I think is really great, especially on Raphael, is how more pronounced his brow is above his eyes. I think that's really cool and kind of makes their faces look a lot different from one another. So for the most part, I like the sculpts here. But one thing I want to say is that Leonardo definitely got the short end of the stick. His sculpt just doesn't seem right. He's got sort of this teeth gritting grimace on his face and his eyes are sort of blankly staring off. It just doesn't really look like the leader that Leonardo should. Another thing I've seen some folks kind of point out online is that it almost looks like their facial expressions don't really match their personalities. Now, I don't think they're quite that bad, but I've seen some people kind of trying to mix and match the parts on the heads, and that's actually kind of neat looking. So maybe if we would have seen this teeth gritting grimace on Raphael, for example, that would have worked a lot better than it does on this Leonardo here. 
Now, while their bodies are all the same, you'll notice that their belts are slightly different. So you'll see that Leonardo's got the two straps kind of going over his shoulder, while Donatello's got one solid strap. Raphael's got holsters on the front for his size, while Michelangelo's got holsters in the back for his nunchuck. And the actual sculpt of the shell is also very nice on these guys. You can see there's a lot more detail with the spirals worked in there. So everything about these guys is actually pretty nicely done for the most part. I think the sculpts are good. I feel like the paint job could have made them even more incredible. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the articulation on these new 1990 movie turtles. Now, if you already picked up the other classic collection turtles based on the cartoon series, you pretty much know what to expect as far as the articulation goes. It's pretty much the same on these guys, and it is the same across all four figures. So we'll go ahead and grab Leo here, and I'll show you exactly what we can do. The head's on a nice little ball joint, so it can turn left, it can turn right, it can move up and down, kind of rock all the way around there. It's a nice tight articulation of the head, which is nice. Uh, the bandana on the back is kind of a nice rubbery plastic, so it flexes around. It doesn't hinder the movement at all. You got ball joints at the shoulders, and one thing I want to note, the ball joints on all of these guys are really tight at the shoulders. So you definitely want to be careful because when you try to bend the arms, you'll notice that the peg at the uh, bicep there will kind of bend a little bit because the articulation is so tight at the shoulders. Um, and it's really loose on the bicep. You got to spin on the bicep there. That joint's really loose, so it's not a good combination with the really tight shoulder joint. So definitely something to be cautious of. Um, all four of my turtles are like that, so I don't know if they're going to be like that for everybody. Definitely something to be careful of. Don't bend it too hard and, and snap the arm off your turtles. Uh, they got nice double joints at the elbows, which are nice and hidden by the uh, elbow pads, which is really cool. You got ball joints at the wrist, so you can actually rotate the wrist around, good hinge joints there to bend them. And each one of the fingers are individually articulated, uh, just like we saw with those other classic collection turtles. You got a nice little rocker at the torso there. Uh, the shell is connected to that part, so the movement is going to be hindered a little bit by the shell. But you can rotate them left and right and kind of rock them around a little bit there. You got nice hinge joints at the thigh, so legs can go outwards, move forwards and backwards, kind of swivel there. You do have swivels at the thigh cut also. Just like with the bicep, it's a little loose there, unfortunately. Uh, great double joints at the uh, knees there, again, hidden by the knee pads, which is really cool. You got great joints at the ankles so that allows the foot to move forwards and backwards, rock left and right, swivel. And then both of the toes are also articulated. Probably unnecessary. We don't really need that articulation. It's a little bit loose, but nonetheless, you can move the toes as well. So for the most part, the articulation is really nice. I wish it was a little tighter in some spots, specifically the bicep and the thigh, and a little looser on the shoulders. But even still, um, they stand really well. The figure stands they come with are definitely a big help for getting them to stand up. And you should be able to get some pretty nice poses out of these guys. So of course, as far as accessories go, each of the turtles come with their signature weapons. And one thing that's nice is just like the figures themselves, the weapons are all brand new sculpts. So they're not just the same weapons we got with the previous classic collection turtles. They've got a little bit more of a movie feel to them too. You'll notice that there's some little details kind of worked in there. So Michelangelo's nunchucks are brown and they got some nice little wood creases in there, just like Donatello's bow staff. And one thing that's really nice is the weapons are all painted, so they're not just a solid color plastic like we see with the 5-inch figures. All of the turtles can hold onto their weapons pretty nicely. They actually got a little groove inside their hand that fits onto the handles of their weapons pretty well, and even though their fingers are all individually articulated, which has been a bit of a contention in the past with their hands being a little too loose to hold onto the weapons, I haven't had a lot of problems with these guys. They seem to hold onto them pretty nicely, and you can even get the nice little between the fingers pose with Raphael's size, which is always my preferred way to display the figure. Also, Michelangelo's nunchucks have real metal chains. That's always a huge plus as far as I'm concerned. And in addition, they all come with their sewer lid figure stands that we've seen with all of the other classic collection turtles. This time around with it saying 1990 movie in front of their names. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Here we're going to go ahead and stand them alongside the classic collection turtles based on the cartoon series so you can see the difference between these 1990 movie versions. And now let's stand them alongside the vintage movie star turtles, the first versions of action figures based on this movie. That way you can see the difference between the two.
Look at the sculpts and the details on the skin on those old ones. I really wish we had that on these new ones. So there you go, my friends. There's a look at the brand new 1990 Movie Turtles from Playmates Classic Collection. Overall, I do really like these figures. Like I said, I think the sculpts are very nicely done on these guys. And while some may say that the uh, facial expressions don't quite match the turtles, I do really like the sculpts of the faces. And I especially like how the eye masks are all slightly different from one another. I definitely think the lacking point on these figures is the paint jobs. If they would have had more details painted on, such as the spots, or even had more details worked into the sculpt of their skin, like some more scaly looks to them, these guys would have looked even more like they jumped right out of the movie. And the articulation is a little loose in some spots still, just like we saw with the other classic collection figures. But overall, still nice toys. I really like these figures, even though they're just another version of the Turtles, and I think fans of the old 1990 movie will really like these guys and would love to add them to their collection. These figures are Toys R Us exclusives currently, and they're hitting store shelves right now. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time. Oh, mm -hmm.